NDTV's interview, exclusive interview of the former U.S. President uh, Donald Trump has been making international news. It has now made it onto ABC News's Jimmy Kimmel Live. And what has stood out is the fact-checking done in this interview of every statement that the former U.S. President makes. He also might be looking for a television home overseas because he sat for an interview with a channel called New Delhi TV from India, which um, uh, came up with a new and fun way to fact check him. Were you to run again, you think you could beat him? Because he's running again. Well, in the polls, I'm leading by a lot. Okay. I would think I'd beat him uh, easily. Uh, I think I beat him last time. I don't think. If you look at the numbers, you look at what happened, I beat him by a lot. A recent Wall Street Journal poll, however, showed that Joe Biden is actually leading Trump by six points. This poll was conducted on the 1st of September of this year. <laughs> Can all Trump's interviews be like this? Because he makes a clearly fake statement and cut to a graphic disproving it with funky music behind it. India is considered the world's largest democracy. You're the world's oldest. Yeah. And that's why we have this relationship. That democracies function on the principle that the losing side concedes defeat and the winning side... I agree with that. So when you lose. The final count of the Electoral College votes for the 2020 U.S. presidential elections has Trump at just 232 votes with Biden at 306. Well, yeah, sure, if you do the math. But what about the fact that Trump feels like he won? Doesn't that count for anything? Fibonacci also weighed in on the success of Truth Social, his wildly unsuccessful social media platform. Truth Social, the, the website, the, the social great. media platform. What, what's your take on that? Because there's some sense so that it didn't go as well as it, you may want. Uh, listen to this guy. It's doing phenomenally well. Okay. And it's growing very big and very rapidly. And when and people are watching it because I'm on sure. it. And other platforms fail. And you'll see what's going on with Twitter. Twitter's getting killed. Media reports and SEC filings, in fact, suggest that Truth Social is facing serious financial struggles with an estimated $6 million being lost in the first six months of 2022. Oh, man, I hope he didn't see the edited version of that interview. You know he heard New Delhi and thought he was getting a big pastrami sandwich? <laughs>